Jungle pictures, Vicky. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jamie, it's a jungle in here, too. Clean up this mess. No problem, Mom. Vicky, pick up my things, please. Oh, no, you don't. Clean them up yourself. You've got to learn some responsibility, young man. Oh, okay. <laughs> A simple good morning would have handled it. Honey, come on. I'm just getting in the mood for our Mexican cruise next weekend. Three days, two nights of heaven. I can do that dance. Oh, you can? Okay, wise guy, show me. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> It's a good thing your head wasn't in it, Dad. Yeah. Vicky <laughs> has. Hey, Vicky, uh, thanks a lot. You're welcome. Yeah. I think this hat's seen its last dance. You can throw it away. Here you go. Throw it away. Kid, as much as I'm looking forward to our cruise, let's not put El Cardo before El Horso. We can't go unless there's a cancellation. Honey, come on. We are numero uno on the waiting list, huh? And the guy said they always have a cancellation. I can hardly wait. Relaxing all day by the pool. Shopping in Puerto Vallarta. Yeah. Mariachis, margaritas. Shopping in Acapulco. <laughs> Strolling around the deck with the, with the wind blowing through my hair. Shopping in... Cabo San Lucas. Are you two going on the same cruise? <laughs> well, everything's picked up. Thank you. I'm going out back to shoot some baskets. Hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. Back up the bus here, Shrimpo. Now, I want you to pick everything up again, put it back where it belongs. Then I want you to go out to the front, take the trash cans out, and rake the leaves off the lawn, okay? Orders, orders, orders. Everybody tells me what to do. That's one of the joys of parenthood. Well, if I do everything around here, what do you two do? Oh, not much. Just cook and clean and sew and market and... Pay the phone bill, the gas bill, the electric bill, make the car payments, make the mortgage payments. Boy, you ask a simple question. <laughs> well, I could let them turn off the electricity, turn off the gas, take away the car. Or maybe you'd like to pay for them? Me? How can I pay for them? I'm just a kid. Grown-ups are supposed to pay for those things, and kids are supposed to enjoy them. It's, it's like the law of supply and demand. Yeah, you demand and we supply. <laughs> Jamie, we expect all your chores to be done by the time we get back from shopping. That's right. Oh, Jamie. Yeah, Dad? One more thing. Very important. If a Mr. Willis from a travel agency calls, tell him to hold the cabin. We'll be back by four. Got it? Yeah, got it. Okay. Have a good time shopping. Oh, Dad, don't forget your loving son who loves surprises, especially bicycles. 
I thought they'd never leave. Come on, Vicky, let's play some basketball on the double. On the double. <laughs> How do the Globetrotters do that? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Show off. <laughs> That's using your head. Hi, guys. Hey, Reggie. Hey, Reggie. Have I got a surprise. When you stay over my place next weekend, my dad has tickets to see, get this, the boss in concert. The boss? You mean Bruce Springsteen? I don't mean my mother. <laughs> oh, man, totally awesome. Bruce Springsteen, I saw him on television. Born in the USA. <laughs> Your mom and dad will let you go, right, Jamie? Are you kidding? I can talk them into anything. The big J plays them like a violin. <laughs> Great. Listen, I have to go run an errand for my mom. Come over to my house in an hour, and we'll hang out. Sure. Catch you later. Catch you later. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. Goodbye, Harriet. Wait. What time will you pick me up for the Springsteen concert? How'd you know about that? When Reggie told you, I just have to have my year up against your date. <laughs> Harriet, if I had two tickets to that concert, and we were the last two people on Earth, I'd still take someone else. <laughs> Only my pride keeps me from resenting that remark. Luckily, I don't have any. <laughs> I gotta go. There's the phone. Wait. You can at least bring me back a program from the concert. An expensive one in color. And he'd also like one of those great big wall posters of Bruce wearing his T-shirt, a bandana, and sweat. <laughs> Hello? And be sure to go backstage and have Bruce Baby autograph it for me. <laughs> Will you stop flapping your lips? <laughs> no, not you, Mr. Willis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got it. They should call you back by one o'clock at the latest. Yeah, okay, bye. Can I start flapping my lips again? <laughs> no. Harriet, I've never met a woman who can talk nonstop like you. You must have been born mouth first. <laughs> it's a gift. How do you like that kid? He didn't put the trash cans out front and he didn't rake the leaves. And he didn't put his things away either. Jamie! Jamie is not here. He left a message on my tape recorder. All right, what's the message? Push my start button. Heard Ellie. <laughs> What's the matter with her? She's rewinding. Hi, Mom and Dad. I'm over at Reggie's hanging out. See you later. And when he gets back, I'm going to be hanging out in his bedroom with a ping pong paddle. Play a couple of sets on his behind. Then his behind will have to stand at the concert. What concert? Born. In the USA. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen. That's enough, Vicky. Uh, put Jamie's things in his room, please. Put things in room. Did you tell Jamie he could go to a rock concert? No. Well, neither did I, and I'm not so sure I like the idea. Have you ever seen the kids that go to those things? They got the, they got the, the weird makeup and the orange hair and the, and the real long earrings. I never let a daughter of ours go out looking like that. I'm talking about the guys. <laughs> I don't know, honey. I think, he's, I think he's too young for a rock concert. He said he could talk you into anything. The big J plays you like a violin. <laughs> oh, is that so? Uh -huh. Hi. Oh, look. It's Yasha Heifetz. <laughs> I want to talk to you. Sure. But first, Reggie and his dad want to take me to the Springsteen concert. I said I couldn't go until I did all my chores and checked with you guys. See how responsible I am? So can I go, please? Please? 
Need any money for popcorn? Ted! I'm sorry, honey. The kid plays me like a violin. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we'll all be looking forward to a great weekend if we get lucky with the travel agent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he called. He said he wanted you to call him back by one at the latest. By one? Didn't you tell him to hold the cabin? We'd be back by four? Uh-oh, I forgot. I'm gonna trade that ping pong paddle in for a two by four. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he didn't give it away. Jamie, how could you forget? Oh, what's happening to you lately? Hello, Mr. Willis. Hi, uh, this is Ted Lawson. Yeah, do you have some good news for us? Yeah. Yeah, but we just got home. I... But... No, I understand. Thanks, anyway. No cabin. No cabin. He would have held it for us, but when we didn't call back, he gave it to somebody else. I'm really sorry, Dad. Yeah? Are you gonna have the whole weekend to think about how sorry you are? Because if we're not going on that cruise, you're not going to that concert. But... Reggie already got the tickets! Tough. I want to go. I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> no way. That's your punishment. Come on, Vicky. Let's go. Halt. About face. <laughs> <laughs> Vicky, about body. <laughs> and just where do you think you're going? You always send me to my room when I'm being punished. Yeah, but before you go to your room, you're gonna go outside and you're gonna take the trash out. And then you're gonna rake the leaves. Now move it. Hut, 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 hut. Vicky, go keep an eye on Jamie and don't do his chores for him. Move it. Hut, 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 hut. <laughs> do you think we are a little rough on Jamie? Honey, he has to learn to handle things like an adult. He can't throw a tantrum every time he wants something. You're right. There'll be other cruises, honey. But I wanted to go on this cruise. I had my heart set on it. I know. I want to go, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. I hate being a kid. Sometimes I wish I was the boss around here. Everyone's always telling me what to do. Everyone's always telling me what to do. Yeah, but you're a robot. You know, sometimes I wish my parents were robots, too. Boy, would I tell them what to do. <laughs> well, it's time for bed. Good night, Vicky. Good night, Jamie. jungle pictures? Me neither. <laughs> before El Horso boss. <laughs> Can't wait. Disco dancing, girls. Happy hour, girls. Moonlight strolls on the deck, girls. <laughs> so many girls, so little time. 
ha, ha. <laughs> Let's shoot some baskets. Shoot some baskets. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be no playing until this room's clean, the leaves are raked, and the trash is taken out. Now, move it. Orders, orders, orders. Everybody tells us what to do. <laughs> oh, robots? Yes, yes boss. boss. If Mr. Willis from the travel agency calls, be sure to tell him I'll be home by four. Home, home by four. four. Got, Got it. it. Have a good time shopping. Don't forget your loving robots who like surprises, especially chocolate microchip ice cream. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Reg. I've got big news. Next Saturday, we're all gonna see The Boss. Big deal. We see Jamie every day. <laughs> no, not your boss. The boss. Lawrence Welk. <laughs> Lawrence Welk. Wow. <laughs> totally Awesome. When I think of Lawrence Welk, my circuits go a one and a two. <laughs> Jamie will let you go, won't he? You kidding? We play the big J like a violin. <laughs> Six. Catch you later. Hi, Reggie. Bye, Harriet. Catch, Catch you, you later. later. Wait! <laughs> what time are you picking me up for the Lawrence Welk concert? If you were the last human on Earth, we'd still take a robot. <laughs> In that case, you can bring me back a program. Bum. Bum. <laughs> I want the Spencer programs in color that you have to buy. One of those great big wall posters of Lawrence Welk wearing a t-shirt, a bandana, and sweat. Hello? 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 <laughs> I'm sure to go backstage and have Larry Baby autograph it for me. Dear Harriet, you are wonderful. A wonderful, a wonderful. <laughs> I'm going now. Wonderful, a wonderful, a wonderful. A wonderful. <laughs> How do you like those robots? They didn't take out the trash and they didn't rake the leaves. And they didn't put their things away either. Robots! Ted and Joan are not here. They left a message on my tape recorder. Play it back. Hi, boss. We're at Reggie's hanging out. See you later. When they get back, I'll be hanging out in their cabinet with a circuit breaker. <laughs> if their circuits are broken, then we won't be able to go to the Lawrence Welk concert. Lawrence Welk concert? Have you seen the people who go to those things? <laughs> the ladies with blue hair? The men in their polyester suits and white socks? <laughs> They're animals! <laughs> Hi, boss. Robots, you get your robots over here. <laughs> There's no way you're going to that Lawrence Welk concert, and that's final. We can talk you into anything. We, we play, play you like, like a violin. violin. <laughs> well, looks like you guys have got a concert, and I've got a cruise. If that travel agent ever calls. He called. He said to call by one, or you lose the cabin. By one? It's four o'clock. If I'm not going on that cruise, and you're not going to that concert. Aw, uh, gee, boss. <laughs> halt! You're not getting off that easy. About face. <laughs> Very funny. About everything. Now, march yourselves outside and rake up the leaves and take the trash out. Go! Hut, hut! 
You didn't pay the electric bill. I better call them. Hello? Hello? The phone's dead. You didn't pay the phone bill. And here is the bill for the mortgage. You didn't pay that either. We will lose our home. We will lose our cabinet. They'll sell us for scrap metal to Japan. We'll come back as a Toyota. <laughs> and I'm not supposed to pay for those things. You're the boss. The, the boss, boss pays. pays. The boss pays. The boss pays. The boss pays. I'm just the kid. I'm just the kid. I'm just the kid. Just the kid. I'm just the kid. I'm just the kid. Jamie, wake up. Jamie, honey. Huh? Oh, man. What a dream I just had. Turned into a terrible nightmare. Well, everything's just fine now. It sure seemed real. You guys were robots like Vicky, and I was the boss, and I had to support you. I dream that every night. <laughs> it was awful. Being a grown-up is tougher than I thought. Well, I'm glad you appreciate that. Is Vicky okay? Well, I'm sure she is. Let's check. Vicky, you okay? Okay. It's all right? It's all right. Okay. <laughs> She's a small wonder, brings love. 